Hey everybody, it's Pip, and I'm back. It's been a while. Today I'm bringing you guys a gameplay commentary over some Black Ops gameplay that I recorded quite a while ago and never seemed to post it. Um, this has been my first gameplay commentary since last year, which was on Modern Warfare 2, I think my last one. Um, this one's on Black Ops, this game I got a really long time ago. I got finally got it and I finally found the time to actually put a commentary over it and uh, today I'm gonna talk about why people actually hate it on Black Ops and what when, when I watched this gameplay back the first time I thought to myself why is everybody hating on Black Ops so much I don't understand I hated on it too for some reason because uh, I was so used to play Modern Warfare 2 and I just didn't like it but now now looking back I find I actually miss Black Ops, kind of, but I'm probably not going to play it because nobody else wants to play with me, and I tend not to like, I tend not to play that many games when I, by myself, even though I do a lot, um, yeah, but I was, I always, uh, now I feel like Black Ops should get some more respect because it actually deserves it, because it was a good game, they made a lot of steps in the right way, in the right way, and, uh, they, Basically, they s built something completely different. They put, they made a totally no new genre, which was, um, well, not a genre, but they put a different time period on it. They put Cold War because they knew Modern Warfare was already taken by, um, tr by Infinity Ward. So they took Cold War, and what they did with it, the campaign, yeah, okay, the campaign was pretty weird. I didn't like it that much, because, but... You can't really get the same type of campaign that Modern Warfare, that the series Modern Warfare can get, because it's already the third game, and now this is the last Modern Warfare game, and this is the time that they finally pinned all the little pieces of the puzzle together, and Black Ops couldn't do that because Black Ops was one game, one game. There's not going to be a Black Ops two, at least I don't think. If there is, then they kind of failed with their campaign. But the campaign just was, it was one story from start to finish. And Modern Warfare 2 is like one story from start to finish. Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 1. It's a one big story split up over three games. So they had better chance of making more in-depth characters. They had, they basically could do whatever they wanted. And... That's the only part that of the game that I really, really disliked for the reason because they just didn't do it properly. But the Modern Warfare, the online aspect of the game was very, very good. I find because they put in COD points, meaning you could unlock your attachments however you wanted, which I find a good idea because if you don't really want all the attachments, you don't have to get all the attachments and. If you just want a silencer and a red dot for a gun, you can just buy the silencer and the red dot. I mean, you don't have to go through three marksman achievements to get that one attachment that you want for the same gun. I mean, if you didn't want a silencer on a, a sniper rifle, you didn't have to have that. And I find that's a good part, that's a good thing that they made and it was a really good step in the right direction. Secondly, they... Theater mode. I mean, everybody loves theater mode, and that was a big thing that they changed, and it paid off because people use the theater mode to make really good montages, and now Modern Warfare 3 took that over too. And I don't really think that the uh, theater mode for Modern Warfare 2 is this, is as Modern Warfare 3 is as good as Black Ops's theater mode, theater mode because I mean it, it's harder to get to your gameplays, but it's in the, it's basically the same thing, besides the fact that it takes a little bit to get to your game. Um, the kill streaks you could unlock any kill streak you wanted, which is basically the same thing, but you could unlock them whenever you wanted. You didn't have to wait for a uh, for a little token that you unlock the thing. But I don't really like kill streaks. I'm not a great player, but so I don't really need them. I don't really need the high kill streaks, so I. Just didn't I didn't unlock any other kill streaks except for like one, and I didn't mind. It didn't really make me. It didn't really do anything for me, so I was fine with that. Um, the guns. 
Yeah, the graphics and the guns, they look pretty old school. I didn't really like that many of the guns. The FAMAS was a beast, which I'm using in this game. I don't know uh my perk setup in this game is, but um, yeah, the FAMAS, the, the Galil. People like the Galil. I hated it. Um, what other gun? I love the M14. It was a beast. I love that gun. Um, Commando was a good gun. I don't even think I... Unlocked it yet, but I picked it up a bunch of times, and I I love that gun. Um, L96 was a good sniper. I don't. I mean, there was there was no other real sniper that you could play with. Well, you could, but they weren't as cool as bolt action sniper. Um, yeah, I mean, the submachine guns AK74U at the beginning was kind of overpowered, but they at least they patched it. They patched the FAMAS. I mean. They had the scavenger. I like this part of the scavenger because the scavenger actually lets you f refill your ammo much further, so you have more ammo and your more ammo capacity in Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, and I think on the first one as well. You could only go to I think 180 or 160 rounds of scavenger, and here you can actually go I think to one 150 or 160. About don't quote me on this. I don't really know, but I know it's more. I know it's like three more mags or something like that. Um, uh, the second thing, the, no, third thing, is uh, the uh, customization of your emblems and and the uh, titles. They had, well, it was it was it isn't really title. It's more like a background. I like those backgrounds. I just didn't I didn't find one that really fit to me until I think the very end. Um, emblems, I love that emblem customization. I th um, at the end, towards the end of the game, I actually found one that was that really I really liked, and I think that's a part that's missing from Modern Warfare 2. I like those little emblem things that they give you, but some of them are just not like you can't customize it. At least let them customize your let yourself customize the emblem because that's something I really miss from Black Ops, and I don't think people will ever say this, but I think. That Black Ops was a good game, and I think that Black Ops got a lot of things right. Even the spawn system in Black Ops is actually, I think, I feel personally better than the spawn system in Modern Warfare 3 because the spawn system in Modern Warfare 3 is busted as hell. I mean, there's a guy that, I, that someone spawned right in front of me and right behind me. I mean, I'm standing right there, right beside a flag, and they spawn in front of me. That was that was a big flop on Modern Warfare 3 part. I mean. They, they, I don't think they, they learned their lesson from what they had before. I mean, they had bad spawn systems before, and they had complaints. Um, yeah, the game's coming to an end now. I think I went. I have no idea. Uh, Twenty-three and seven. That was a good gameplay for me. I don't usually get games like that. Um, but yeah, this has been Pip, and I hope you guys take this to heart. And Black Ops was a good game. And I'll see you guys later with some new content. It's not going to be Modern Warfare 3, not going to be Black Ops, it's not going to be Call of Duty. I'm not telling you what it is, but yeah, I got some new content coming up. And I'll see you guys later.